Good afternoon, people watching in 65, Lisa Boyce. I'm going to give you a verse of scripture out of Jeremiah 17, 7. <clears throat> Excuse me. And it says, blessed is the man that trusteth in the Lord and whose hope the Lord is. If you read the verses before that, it tells you not to trust man. That's why everything I tell you, I refer you to go back to the Lord and read it for yourself. Let me give you the gospel. It's in 1 Corinthians 15, 1 through 4. Christ shed his blood for all of our sins, past, present, and future, was buried and rose again on the third day according to Scripture. We're saved by grace through faith in Christ alone. Not of ourselves, not of works, lest any man should boast. That's how we're saved, why we're saved, and how we're kept saved. It's only through his death, burial, and resurrection, that we're saved, and that's how we're kept saved, through his blood. That's how we're, we're washed with by his blood, washed clean by his blood. His blood washes us clean of all sin, and that's how we're kept saved. <clears throat> it is grace through faith in Christ alone. Nothing else. It is grace, something we didn't something we didn't earn, something we don't deserve, that God gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believe in him will not perish but have eternal life. How do you come to that? You admit you're a sinner in need of Christ. The moment you put your faith and trust in Christ and his blood, not only are you saved, but you are justified by the blood of Jesus. You are protected by the blood of Jesus. You are rapture ready which is going to happen at any time, literally at any time. And you're sealed until the day of redemption, which means you cannot and will not lose your salvation. The Holy Spirit will indwell in you, lead you, guide you, minister to you, encourage you, speak to you, and change you if you let him. So this thing with this meeting that's going to take place in... Um, For uh, Israel and Iran. Now this meeting is set to take place at, uh, it's a ceasefire meeting. It's set to take place between, at 9 o'clock Tel Aviv time. So that means it's around 2 o'clock here. This is the, I think this is what they were probably waiting for. Um, it says here, and I'm looking at some of the uh, telegram feeds that I'm getting as well. It says the Doha summit is the last chance to reach an agreement regarding Gaza, Israel, media quoting Israeli officials. If not a ceasefire hostage deal is reached, the chances are 100% all out war is gonna take place. Now, the thing of it is, and like I, I, like I was saying before, God's gonna have to intervene with this because if this thing is gonna go out to an all out war, okay, there's, there's no way it's not. John Kirby just made a statement saying that Iranian attack on Israel could come without warning. So it says here, uh, also says that the U.S. National Security Advisor said that Iran is moving ahead to strike Israel directly. And this could happen without warning. Now someone sent me an X uh, tweet earlier. And this is saying that, I got a lot of them too. And this is also saying that, um, this is talking about Iran. <clears throat> and this is saying that the U.S. Treasury Department today issued sanctions targeting Houthi and Hezbollah trade networks as Washington seeks to increase pressure on Iran and the Iranian back route. So the new sanctions targeted companies, individuals, and vessels involved in the shipment of Iranian commodities, including oil and liquefied petroleum to Yemen and the United Arab Emirates on behalf of a Houthi financial 
officials network. So this thing, and plus Israel just sanctioned part of them as well. So this thing is not easing up at all. The thing about it is that, and this is where I believe the rapture is going to come in. I don't know. I could be wrong, of course. <laughs> I'm human. I could be wrong, and I want the rapture really bad. But um, <clears throat> this thing is going to go nuclear, okay? Now, it says also here, and these are uh, Telegram and uh, Twitter posts that I'm going off of right now. It says, Iran is pushing ahead with its plan to strike Israel, which could happen without warning. Okay, that's what I just read from John Kirby. And that's what's right here on this X post. Um, is also saying that secret talks are now underway in Qatar. So ceasefire negotiations have begun in Qatar, bringing together top officials from around the world. <clears throat> Let's look at who's in the room. CIA Director William Burns. Mossad Director David Bar uh, Barnea, Qatar Prime Minister Sheikh Mohammed bin Alderadam, something like that. You know how I am with some of these names. I don't care. Egypt's Intelligent Chief Abbas Kamel. So these are some of the people that are doing this right now. This is a big deal, folks. This is a big deal because this war, like, like, John Kirby's right. It's going to start at any time. And right now, the people are like, hmm, yeah, right. Whatever. We've heard this before. That's exactly where they want you to be. Because when it starts, it's going to take everybody off guard. Why I do believe the rapture is close is not only because of this, but... Um, <clears throat> Because the weather is changing. Now, I know a lot of people will be like, well, you know, it's, it's September. No, you don't understand. I've never, I've been here. <laughs> <clears throat> I lived on the West Coast for a while. But I was born and raised here. I've never seen weather like this. We're going directly from summer to winter. And it started, the leaves are starting to turn now. I'm seeing this. If I'm noticing this, then it's, it's, I'm, it's something to it. Now, this is important. I can't talk to no one right now. Let me tell you, let me give you a synopsis of what I'm, let, let me give you an example of what I'm talking about. In September, we're going to the, well, in, if we're here, we're going to the air show. September 1st. The high that day, September 1st, is going to be 62 degrees. The low is going to be 35. September. I have never known a September here in Ohio to be, I'm September 1st in Ohio to be 35 degrees overnight. Okay? So this we're getting our first snow, according to AccuWeather. And AccuWeather has been accurate. September 25th. That's before my son's birthday, Cody's birthday. Usually it's in the 70s here, at least. Last year when we were at the air show, I was burning up. Okay? It was hot. It was in the 80s. There's something about this, there, and I, I can't get it off my mind. There is something about this weather changing. People can say what they want, and they usually will. I don't really care, but there's something there about it. Something is definitely about it. Now, that's another reason why I think the rapture is this year. Now, getting back to this thing with... Israel, uh, Palestinian Authority Abbas tells Turkish parliament he will go to Gaza even if it cost him his life. 
This is off the Times of Israel. So the Palestinian Authority, President Mahmoud Abbas, tells a special session of the Turkish parliament <clears throat> that he will travel to Gaza even if it puts his life at risk. He said, I have decided to go to Gaza with other brothers from the Palestinian leadership, Abbas said, in an in a address, address applauded by Turkish lawmakers. He said, I will do that, even if this will cost my life. Our life is not more worthy than the life of a child, he says. Abbas, who has um, added a visit to Turkey after meeting with Russian President Vladimir Putin, remember I said that yesterday, in Moscow, says the Palestinian people will stand tall and not accept a solution that keeps Gaza and the West Bank divided. This thing is, this thing is really coming to a head. Abbas, who heads the Fatah movement, a rival to Hamas, already visited Turkey. at Erdogan's invitation in early March. Again, <clears throat> everything is coming to a head. Again, the security cabinet, and this is off the Times of Israel, the security cabinet set to meet in the pit. It says in the pit. The pit is their underground place where they where the heads meet in case war breaks out it's called the pit <clears throat> it says the security cabinet is set to meet again in tel aviv at nine o'clock in the underground command room of the uh Kyria military headquarters the cabinet will meet in the pit as the underground command room is known one week after his last meeting to drill for a potential emergency situation. The fact that they're having this meeting in the pit in Tel Aviv, that should tell you everything right there. They know something is going to go down probably tonight after this meeting. I'm going to link all of this in the description box. Um, I got to take this call, so... I will be back on. I'm tr I'm keeping track of this. So I will be back probably a couple of times a day. Because I want to keep track of this meeting. And so does everybody else. So I'll be back on later. Thank you.